Well, gay third years, welcome to sanitised socially distanced third year fluids lab for aerodynamics and fluid mechanics. So, this is the laboratory, we're in the Handley Page Wind Tunnel, University of Glasgow, and we're going to be looking at the flow around the circular cylinder. This is the cylinder model, it's instrumented with pressure tappings, and what we also do is we've got a probe here which we traverse across the weight behind the model. So, we use the surface pressure tappings to measure the surface pressure. We use the weight traverse to measure the weight, momentum and pressure. From the integration of the weight, momentum and pressure, we can get the drag from the circular cylinder. From the surface pressure tappings, we can work out what's happening with the fluid mechanics of the flow over the circular cylinder. Okay, this is the circular cylinder. Basically, it's just a drain pipe of circular cross section. That's all we need. So, the important thing are the pressure tappings on the surface, which are where are my fingers pointing to. There are 48 of them equally spaced around the azimuth of the cylinder. They're just tiny little holes drilled in the surface, and these are connected to something that we call a scanny valve, which in turn is connected to a pressure sensor, which, con which converts the pressure into a voltage signal which is subsequently measured by a computer. So that's all that this is. It's a circle, it's a, it's a circular drain pipe, circular cross section with pressure tappings drilled in and we measure the surface pressure at those locations. That's all it is. The weight traverse, we take the local stagnation and local static pressure using a pitot-static probe. This is the pitot-static probe here. It's just a standard laboratory pitot-static probe. Stagnation pressure at the front, static pressure ports some small distance downstream on the main body of the probe. So that allows us to measure, that allows us to get the uh, local dynamic pressure and the local static pressure. And we move this probe along the wake behind the circular cylinder model, okay? From outside the wake on one side to outside the wake on the other side. Okay, so I'll get the tunnel running. I'm going to run at a wind tunnel speed of about 20 meters per second. You can work out the Reynolds number. Uh, and uh, the camera will be pointing at the model uh, when, the, when the flow is going. We'll be looking at the little tufts, so have a look at those when the wind tunnel starts moving. I'd go in the wind tunnel and point out the tufts myself, but I'm not that stupid. Anyway, the ones on the right-hand side, the flow here, the flow direction here is from right to left. The ones on the right-hand side, you can see, are following the shape of the uh, model surface. The ones on the left-hand side are not following the shape of the model surface. So you can see the separated flow. You can't see the separation point terribly well, but you can see at least where the separated flow is. So we'll start taking pressure measurements. You'll hear a clicking noise. That's the scanny valve operating. And after each click, the voltage from the pressure transducer is measured. And it measures the pressure on the model surface and the uh, wind tunnel uh, dynamic pressure also. While this experiment is going on, the traverse is moving across the wake. 